Well, let's have a chat about some of the dog behaviour problems that we see on dogs behaving very badly on the telly. One of the most sort of difficult to deal with, the most serious things, are when we've got a dog biting. And with those, I think, safety first is the key so if I know in advance that I'm walking into a house where a dog's likely to bite me or the TV crew even um, we'll probably have a muzzle on that dog or if we're outdoors and the dog's likely to, to pass a by I, I can't be having that so a muzzle is your best friend in cases like that you've got to put safety first if you ever see me taking a muzzle off um, on the show which I'm keen to do if I can it's because I'm really sure uh, that we're on the right track and this dog is now not not going to be a danger to anybody. So biting dogs are really difficult. Um, the first thing is to understand why they're doing it. In, in many, many cases, it's because they're nervous. So if you think about fear, it's the fight and flight reaction. So if a dog's seen a dog who looks really scared, ears down, running away, and a dog who's coming forward biting, you'd think that was very different, but they're actually two sides of the same coin, potentially. And often with a nervous dog, when you show them a bit of leadership, a bit of, uh, no, I'll deal with this back down, um, that's when things improve. So I'm always looking at root causes. So why is he nervous? Why, what's going on here? Has he always been like this? That's a question I ask a lot. And if the answer is no, but something happened two years ago and since then he's been like this, yeah, it could be nervous, you know? It could be that the owner isn't really firing all cylinders. Sometimes that comes because um, you know, maybe we've suffered a, a bereavement or, or a breakup in a relationship, that kind of thing. And we're at a low ebb, you know? So what the dog sees is, yeah, you're lovely, but you're a bit of a lightweight. You, you're not gonna defend us. I need to do this. And when I can encourage people to sort of step up again and, you know, be their best selves, often the, the dog just goes, oh, okay, right, you've got it. Right, well, I, I won't overreact then. Because dogs that are nervous often do overreact, you know? You often get a sense when a dog's bitten, it's like, you didn't mean to do that, did you? you know and then they look terribly sorry afterwards but the damage potentially is done so it's a very difficult thing a biting dog it's really about understanding what's gone on why they're being aggressive it's certainly about taking the right safety precautions if you've got a problem like that i would say seek some professional help you know by all means take some of the tips that you see on the telly but don't please don't take any risks you know it's your dog that's at risk as much as anything else of course